is going on to you, Sagittarius? You have the uh, Five of Pentacles, the, the Magician, the Three of Pentacles, then you have the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Temperance, the Five of Wands, the Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the uh, Five of Cups. So for you, Sagittarius, no major arcana that rep... Oh, wait, I'm lying. Temperance, there it is. Honest mistake. Um, so the Five of Pentacles, the Magician, the Three of Pentacles, for you, Sagittarius, um, a lot of you, there's definitely an emphasis on you, Sagittarius, right, that you're putting on yourselves. Well, I, I just see a lot of you, Sagittarius, starting to look at it like you really do have to start paying attention to the quality of the people that you really go after. I, I see, a, I honestly see, right, the Three of Pentacles, I honestly see that some of you Sagittarius may be going to some of your really good trusted friends and asking them if, um, the quality of the people that you call yourselves trying to be in a relationship with or getting to know is up to par and your friends tell you straight up that the quality, unfortunately, of the people that you try to uh, get to know are trash. And this is going to kind of take back a lot of you Libras or knock some of you Libras back, right? Like, whoa, you, you know, this is just more as this is just more confident confirmation that you Sagittarius really do have to start choosing better because even your friends may know that um, the quality of the people that you have tried to get with in the past have not been so uh, good, right? Because the zodiac signs, truth be told, the zodiac signs that pick wrong most of the times is really Aries. Gemini. Uh, Capricorn. Pisces. Virgo. Sagittarius. You know, but um, the Four of Pentacles is about how a lot of you Sagittarius really had to understand that um, because of this, you have, you have to really start taking care of yourselves better. And you already have. But it's just more of a confirmation that more of a wake up call that look, even your friends know that the quality of the people that you were keeping around you that you called yourself being attracted to was trash. So now the nine of wands represents a lot of you Sagittarius are going through now that shadow work, right? That internal work, trying to really pay attention like, yo, the quality of the people that I really have been keeping around me really has been trash. I got to really start kind of understanding what that means and how to change this. So now the temperance represents a lot of you Sagittarius are now looking at your life, looking at the quality of the people that you've been talking to and you've found yourself being attracted to and trying to get into a relationship with. And now a lot of you Sagittarius realize that there's a sense of honesty and there's a sense of patience that need to go into dating and this is another layer of dating that a lot of people are not going to talk to you about that especially with the social media stuff this is why it is that i say five to ten years yo people don't listen to me but i know what it is that i'm talking about yo so many people since social media started to boom it became a trend to get married quickly you had these shows like 90 day fiance marriage at first sight where people meet each other and then they literally go get married the same day that they met each other and it's like you have shows like this and people are are misusing the power of marriage right severely especially in a time like today but that proves my point there's a need for patience when it comes to dating Sagittarius. I'm telling y'all, I'm giving y'all the game. What people who are not patient in general, but especially in dating, you are going to find that people have all types of crazy stuff that they try to hide from other people. And you need patience to really go through, a re to really go through, to really comb through with a fine tooth comb 
if the person that you are talking to is really legit. That's how long it's going to take. But see, that's the thing, though. The, the Five of Wands represents the only the most advanced of you uh, Sagittarius, excuse me, are going to listen to what I have to say. Because you're going to get yourself, Sagittarius, into a situation where if you run into a relationship too quickly, and a lot of you Sagittarius are starting to understand this, if you rush a relationship, you're going to get into fights. You're going to get into power struggles. You're going to get into plenty of disagreements. And the Six of Swords represents you, you, you know, and then it starts all over again. But you can alleviate that problem by really getting to know people, asking them questions. It amazes me to see, Sagittarius, how so many people don't ask questions, but they call themselves trying to get to know the person. But with this, but with, but with this narcissistic way of dating that a lot of people have, people just act like they, there's no need to ask questions and that you know the person and that you trust the person. And there's this sense of, well, if this person wants to tell me this, they tell, they going to tell me this and I don't have to ask and I'm not going to come out and ask to seem so desperate. But then when you are in bed with a stalker, you in bed with a person that you've come to find out after they get caught by the police or whatever. I'm just using this as an example for stalking somebody, right? Basically cheating on you, being in love with somebody else, obsessed with somebody else that they can't get out of their head. Now you sitting up here asking yourself, why is it that I, I didn't know this about him? Why is it that you didn't ask them any questions? To really find out, really peep, really pay attention. Like, oh, okay, this person kind of obsessive. Oh, okay. And then the thing about it is that the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups now represents for you Sagittarius. This is also a situation where not asking questions, and a lot of you Sagittarius know this, not asking questions is really causing the heartbreak. Because you are realizing that that's something else that you Sagittarius have to change about yourself for the better can't just be getting to know people and not be asking questions you have to ask questions but see in in today's time they've made asking questions to find out a little bit more about a person uncool now that seemed like that's whack to do that it's like what that's whack to ask that's whack to ask a person their age yeah but then when unfortunately now all of a sudden when you start linking up with a person that's not 18. Nah, forget that. Forget that. Forget about that. Ask them their age. <laughs> so let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the uh, Five of Cups. Oh, wow. It's turned up. Um, King of Wands. Eight of uh, Swords, then you have the Justice, and then you have the Queen of Swords. Right. So a lot of you Sagittarius are going to really change this about yourselves. And a lot of you Sagittarius are going to also realize that it really is for your own good to really start asking questions, being more patient, taking your time and getting to know someone. And the Justice and the Queen of Swords represent Y'all, you Sagittarius, this is going to really make it quite easy on your life because you Sagittarius are really going to start to realize that people got some funny business going on and you're going to be able to skate right through that because you'll be able to see it because now you're taking the time to get to know them. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the, by, I don't know, at the end of the year, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my video.